We have the Radiant with Huskar and Doom and Razor, all in amazing hats. Clinks, even. We have the Dire. Their hats are terrible. We have an intro. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, to another Ability Draft Analysis with me, Carbonites. It's just me today. There is a slim chance that Stargate will show up and join me, but he also might not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, today, I bring you a match that I played in. I am Doom. Here I am, mid. Look at this Doom. I've got such a guitar and such a dino demon head and bird wings and a bladed tail and it's hot mess. It's a hot mess of hats, but I like it. We've got, uh, we've got Razor with the derpiest Razor outfit. It's like almost intimidating, but the, there's something just off about the helm, and it ends up looking so derpy. Thinks has a nice skin. Uh, Huskar's got a pretty cool. I'm a flame and Huskar skin. I like it. Anyways, we uh, we have a game today where my team. What can I say about my team that's not just outright playing them? Like we we end up winning, but these guys were. I will call it all over the place. My team was all over the place. And I'm glad, I'm really glad I've got Storm Surge and Stampede so I can get to my team and help them when they need it. Because uh, there are times in this match where they need help. Look at that centaur taking the bounty rune right out from under us when we clearly had the space locked down. Unreal. Razor tries to go toe to toe with Tuscar. Razor does that a few times this game. Just tries to go toe to toe with one or multiple enemies and has has uh has things happen. All right, I am going to introduce my build last. Although if you saw the thumbnail, I'm sure you have an idea of what's coming here. Starting with bottom lane. I like bottom lane. It's safe lane. It's where your carries go to farm. We've got Razor. Blur and Chaos Strike and Burning Spears and Death Pact. This is a very, uh, very do nothing right click build. It even burns his own health to do some extra damage, and he's got lots of sustain in his build. You know, one mango to give him 0.6 health per second to sustain him. Um, I guess, I guess the Chaos Strike lifesteal could arguably help keep him up early game. Uh, look at him auto attacking creeps. Great job, Razor. You're doing great. Good build, too. Just just damage. No CC, no movement. No, no surprises. Just right-click hard. It's so questionable. We have Night Stalker. Night Stalker's build is, um... Well, it's more surprising than Razor's, anyway. You know, he can show up out of nowhere with Skeleton Lock and double-edge you and watch you walk away. Maybe you'll get a crit in while you're walking away without him being able to stop you. Um, the obvious advantage here is that he's got a, a nice stack of things that benefit from shards, so that that's pretty cool. It's a shard build. Shard builds are nice. Uh, we have a Tuscar with Berserker's Blood and a Walrus Punch. Need I say more? Well, he's also got Tether and Void, which I don't really see him building an Axe here, but like, maybe for Walrus Kick in the AoE Void, I guess. Uh, this, this looks like a hard Daedalus kind of build to me, but... Anyway, it's it's sick. It slaps. If he gets a Shadow Blade, he can pop up out of nowhere and explode people. Seems good. Uh, some people have already died. We missed that. Whatever, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll see some good fights later. Mid. Oh, hey, locking down a nice early kill. Although it wasn't first blood. We have Clinks. Uh, Clinks's build is terrifying. Impetus. Bloodlust. Burning Barrage, like, this build can do so much damage so fast. It's very mana thirsty, and Clinks doesn't really have a mana pool to speak of, but, you know, he can itemize to fix that. And, uh, yeah, seems like a, seems like a scary build. Some defense and untouchable. You know, it occurs to me that this build has the exact same problem that Razor has that it has damage, and that's it. No lockdown. Nothing really surprising, except for the amount of damage a build like this can pump out. 
Honestly, the Burning Barrage plus Clinks' talent uh, that gives three additional arrows. This this build could just completely wipe a team in a good, properly set up team fight, but he's not going to be the one doing that. Anyways, Huskar dies top. I think that might not be the first time that's happened this game. I know, it is. He's 0 1. Clinks is 1 1. Fascinating. Centaur's 1-1. One, one. I guess that makes sense since Blinks is 1-1. One, one. We'll save me for last. I go devour a creep. Ogre comes with me and I ignore him. Alright, let's uh, let's talk about Ogre. He's got a build. This build like. Um, it's got Fire Blast. It's got Doom. It's got a way to jump on people. And it's got Hunter in the Night. This build is very scary at night time and kind of scary the rest of the time. I don't really know what else to say about it. Doom is a fantastically strong body. This talent tree, 80 damage, 30 strength, and chance to fire blast on right click. And 240 fire blast damage. At level 30, the fire blast shenanigans on right click ogres is just unreasonable. Like, completely unreasonable. So, hopefully we don't see this, uh, what's up, my Naga make it to level 30. Um, we have a PA. I don't know if these guys know, like, which one of them is the carry. This could arguably be a support build, since it does, in fact, stun from range. It can also be a carry build, because it has Phantom Strike. And things that scale off damage. Klinks needs help! He's running for his life! He totally makes it! He even turns around and bloodlusts! I think Centaur makes it, too. Oh, but Centaur slows down. And that is a kill. Good job, thanks. Alright, where were we? We got a PA with a build that I'm not sure if it's a carry or support, but I feel like you can carry. You've got a ogre. It's pretty clearly a carry, but also can support, I guess. I don't know. This is like a two builds that do the same thing. They've both got like a stun and some high potential for right click. But like that's that's about it. Somebody's pingling pinging me. I don't know why. I don't remember what that was all about. Anyway, as you can see, I'm not spending any money. We have a Huskar. Um, Huskar's got a build. I don't know, it seems pretty good, I guess. Got, got Berserker's Blood and Counter Helix. Sorry, Berserker's Call and Counter Helix. That seems strong. Um, Berserker's Call doesn't really want to proc for him this game. And the range PA has with the Stifling Dagger is... Slightly problematic. Fire Blast is strong, too. I believe this ogre gets baited under a tower here and dies. And gets me a double kill. Me. I did that. Haha. <laughs> well, I killed the PA anyway. Not sure how that counts as my kill on the ogre, but I'll take it. Um, you may think I was walking over here to devour one of these creeps, but I'm actually walking over here. Hoping to find... Wait for it. Drum roll. Not two bounty runes, although that's nice. Hoping to find this boy right here, who I promptly eat. And I gain critical strike, 20% chance, and 200 damage. And. Oh, oh he disappeared. And. Activator's Aura. Damage increased by 30%. That's it. Straight up 30% more damage. I even leave a creep to ruin their camp. This is a good start. There are many times where I get Devour builds and I end up spending a really unfortunate amount of time derping around in jungle trying to find an Alpha Wolf, because this is so worth getting. I come back, I immediately get chonked by a uh, Burning Dagger from PA. I also happen to be out of mana. This is fine. All right, that's the builds. We're seven minutes in. Let's go ahead and take a look at player net worth. What? I'm winning net worth with the Bower. Crazy. Super crazy. Oh, man. Check out that great pathing ruin. I thought he was going to chase me. I, uh... I kind of felt like this Huskar needed items. I knew I wanted to run to jungle camps to use Devour a lot. 
So I am, in fact, just doing that a bunch of times. <laughs> I think this time I got there and realized I just didn't have the mana. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. There we go. Now I've got some mana. I get myself a nice neutral item. Things are going fine. Not for Huskar. Huskar dies. Should I have been there to help him? Maybe. Maybe. Night Stalker's doing quite well on the farm bottom. Um, Razor, not so much. Huskar's definitely struggling. Are these two our supports? Should they be that low on net worth? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Huskar's kind of built like a P3 Radiance tank kind of builds. Is he going for that? I don't know. Looks like he's going for mangoes, bracers, and boots. For the health regen, I guess? And I'm going for the don't do anything early game at all in favor of just spamming high level devour and trying to get my radiance. Um, well, I got that kill. That was all Huskar. He does have a very solid early game build with the counter helix at all. And some uh, regen and some survivability. Looks like he's going for an early blade mail, too. I like this build a lot. This is, this is good. I go nom down some more creeps and being out of health and out of mana. Do the walk of shame. Meanwhile, mid is going okay for Quanks. A little low on that lifey stuff. Both towers are pretty low. Huskar's having a bad time. That ice path is not going to be enough for the slow. And there is the big old axe. Um, not, not enough to swing the net worth in their team's favor. Looks like Razor is starting to do much better. And excepting Centaur, who's doing all right. At least he was doing all right. Now he has to run out of lane. I mean, excepting PA, who's doing all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a kill on Night Stalker, and the net worth all jump around a little bit. Fascinating. Now Razor's keeping up. Anyway, I'm leagues ahead. Most everybody is at, like, exactly 3k right now, except a couple of our guys are doing a little better than that, and then I'm up a solid thousand gold over everybody else. Which you can see right here in our team's net worth. Um, I'm also 3-0, which is hilarious, because I, I haven't actually done anything. All I have is Devour. There's no way I should have kills right now. Alright, it looks like they're going to make mean things happen to us top. Here comes Ogre. He promptly gets stunned. And I leave. Here comes Centaur. He stuns me under my tower and doesn't follow up at all. Huskar walks in a big circle, and, well, that's about it right there. Oh, okay, Ogre. I'll take that creep. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh, that's a PA, an Ogre, and a Centaur, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dead doom. It's okay, my net worth is doing fine. The uh, team? Hello, team. Four top. Surely any of my team will TP to our aid. No, Razor is too busy jungling. Then use TP scroll. Sphinx is too busy taking the mid tower and doesn't even have a TP scroll. And Night Stalker is too busy being bottom. His TP was on cooldown. He's got a free pass. I ping the tower, which goes down. My team doesn't show up. <laughs> what a tragedy. I'm very sad. This video is brought to you by Martinelli Sparkling Apple Cider. Just kidding. They don't sponsor me at all. This video is brought to you by me. Because I like playing Dota and making videos about it. If you wanted me to be sponsored, you could sponsor me yourself by getting on Patreon and sending me all of your hard-earned money. I would greatly appreciate that. There's a link in the description. There is extended content there. There's merchandise there. 
The merchandise system is kind of whack. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Uh-oh. Tuscar gets a courier. Somebody's sad. Whose courier was that? I don't know. Too hard to find out. Looks like maybe time for a fight. Not for me, though. I am 600 gold short of my radiance. 13 minutes? Not doing too bad. Got my relic. I like that. Check out this deep ward that we just have no idea is here. Just buying out our triangle. Good ward placement. Good job, Dire. I am impressed. And they just four-man pushed down top, and now they're four-man running at bottom. Razor stands in the jungle. Decides not to run away when things start happening. Ends up with four baddies on top. And Razor goes down. Pretty much free kill right there. Night Stalker continues last hitting. Uh, apparently didn't notice. When the enemy team shows up, he hides in the trees and definitely TPs out and has all the time in the world and totally gets away. Oh, no, he... <laughs> Alright, he invises and runs out. Very nice. I was worried for him. He's not going to try for that CK, is he? Oh my god, he tried to CK. He's totally going to get him, too. <laughs> Oh, nope, he got disarmed. Hey, look, CK has a team. What do you know? Oh, that must be nice. Meanwhile, Razor is not with Night Stalker. And PA's doing aggressive things near our triangle. Look at him jumping on me. The stun and his fast attacks. Me. Yeah, I have to use my ult just to run away. How embarrassing. And I'm still like 100 gold short of my radiance. 15 minutes. Do I even have Devour? I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Thanks is doomed. Ah. Uh, untouchable doesn't do anything about doom. Looks like he got touchable. Alright. Now, Night Stalker goes in. Patiently waits for Huskar to do things because he's there. Huskar does not do things because he's there. End up with an awkward split engage. My ult is down, so I can't help that much. God, it's like I need boots or something. And the fight fizzles out horribly. Maybe it's because they could totally see us all coming. And oh my good green gravy, look at the net worth. PA has practically caught up with me on net worth. He's got some more slow on attack. He's got some movement in the attack speed. He's got some movement in the attack speed. He's got a infuse raindrop, whatever that does. I guess some regen and some mana damage blocks and spell damage blocks and blocking up the spells. I don't get raindrop. Why is that a thing? And Razor with the fuzzy hat. Oh my god, it's a fluffy hat, not a fuzzy hat. Things you learn. Runs away from Centaur without even trying to fight him. Night Stalker shows up, so Razor slows down to make it a fight. Centaur pops a blade mail, and Razor has to run away some more. So does Night Stalker, but he fails. And Razor gets revengeanced. Meanwhile, Top, Clinks dies. Let's see that again. Meanwhile, Top, Clinks goes on Ogre, but doesn't realize there's a CK there. And just gets splitty splattered. Yikums. I'm like team fighting. Whatever, it's 17 minutes and I just got my radiance. I'm a jungle. I need some boots. I'm slow. Alright, that's a three pack top. Looking to push, I think. Meanwhile, everyone is dead. Huskar's got phase boots. Alright, no blade mail, no blink. Looks like he got phase boots and not a blade mail like I thought he was going to get. I don't like his build anymore. Razor's got a dragon lance. What does he make with a furry hat? What, what is this item? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where I had a Shut up. There it is. Is like a falcon blade? Or... I guess it's force staff? He's getting a force staff for Hurricane Pike. 
But alas, he's fighting too many people. And he dies. Nice oh ward. I dare say. Meanwhile, bottom, Clinks and Huskar are going on a blade mail centaur. It pumps out a ton of damage, but does go down. Almost takes the two of them with him. Oh, yeah, I've got Radiance, I've got Brown Boots. Feeling good about the universe. The three of them down. Seems like time to push. PA comes in to make us sad. Does PA know I have Radiance now? Is this a fight PA wants? Is this a fight I want? I don't know, maybe. PA blinks to the creeps to stay away from us. Steals our bounty rune. Goes on Night Stalker and surely would have him, but I show up and stun. Night Stalker does some mean things, and we look at that. Radiance is a good item. Unbelievable. So now I'm 4 2. I am 600 gold up on PA, followed by two more of their team. An ogre is looking to do something nasty to our Huskar. Here he comes. Here he, here he comes. All right, that's a doom. That's a fire blast. That's some right clicky clicks. But alas, they're our friends now. Razor uses Force Staff, and Ogre just walks away. What an item to get on a carry. Like, what is this item? 10 intel, 175 health, and the ability to push things. Is this worth the Hurricane Pike early? I feel like Razor desperately needs a farming anything and, like, some lifesteal to offset that burning spear damage. But whatever, Hurricane Pike, I guess. Meanwhile, bottom. Centaur blows his alt. He's got vision on the Night Stalker. Lynx doesn't know who to attack. He picks the right one. Huskar comes in and does axe things. It's looking good. Oh wait, there's a PA here. It's not looking so good. PA has a double damage. It's really not looking good. Oh, the Centaur is just the baitiest of baits. And Tusk definitely earned that kill. It wasn't PA doing all the damage at all. Meanwhile, Doom is uh, sleeping top. I don't know why I haven't bought bracers yet. I've had brown boots forever. Am I just going straight for traps? I don't know. Seems like probably trying to go straight for traps. Three man push bottom. Who needs a tower? Whatever. F that tower. Ogre's got a basher to go with his fire blast. Seems like a good build. Good for ambushes. Needs to be nighttime, though, and it is daytime for four more minutes. We've got a Chaos Knight running down mid, all by his lonesome. We've got a Doom, AFK farming jungle. Indeed, I did go for Travs. Now that I have Travs, I think maybe my team could use some help. So I go to my team. And there's no fight. I'm sad that I wasted a TP. Whatever, I guess I'll just jungle somewhere. CK runs down mid. Hitting the tower. Getting hit by the tower. I see my team going for CK. I go with them. I ult. Oscar grabs him. Easy kill. Stalker approaches the enemy tower. PA approaches Night Stalker. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. PA strikes. Night Stalker turns invisible. Vision is dropped, but Night Stalker went the other way. Vision range is inadequate. Night Stalker chills. Probably just waits for this TP to come off cooldown and then gets out of there, I'm gonna guess. Yep, there he goes. Somebody pings top, and I don't go top, because why would I bother with that? I just want some hungry, hungry creeps to eat. Looks like my build is going quite well. I've got my shard up. 
That gives me the Storm Surge passive. Got my Radiance, got my Bracers and my Travels. Feeling groovy. Meanwhile, there's a fight going down mid that I want to be at. So I TP to it. Huskar does axe things. It holds them in place for a good long time. And sets me and Tyler up for some murdery murders. I think my team might be excited about that fight. I had fun. Alright, 23 minutes into this match. I've got a couple thousand more gold banked up. What will I buy next? CK pushes top wave, almost to tower, but decides not to rat. Does he have Phantasm up? He doesn't have Phantasm. Centaur has Phantasm. I don't know what he was ever going to do. I start eating Ancient Creeps because I'm 15, and this ability is ridiculous at 15. Also. The baddies. The dire. They seek a fight. I send some illusions to die. We know where they are. Night Stalker doesn't go in. I also don't go in. But they come our way. Night Stalker gets cut. Envision. Oh no. Lynx gets cut by PA. Huskar gets there and saves him. I get there. Get a nice double stun off. And that big Clink's damage comes out. ruh -roh. Oh no, let's see that again in slow motion. 25 minutes into this game and Clink's is going to die at my hands. <laughs> we didn't see that coming, did we? No, we did not. Anyway, I'm glad I did it. No kills for their team, only for me. I am now up. Well... 2k. It's really it's not that big of a lead. I mean, that's not how math works. About 3k. Um, I'm rather surprised to see their Chaos Knight has all the farm. How is this a thing? This isn't a farming build. This isn't a, a good build. Does he just have all the kills? Excuse me. CK uh, is 1-1-5, one, one, so I guess he's just been AFK jungling and pushing lanes all game. Anyways, we engage bottom. They jump on the Razor and kill him dead. Tuskar tries to help, but there's no help for it. Tuskar shows up. Tuskar runs away. I feel like Huskar and Tuskar could be characters in a Dr. Seuss book. Now I'm 3.5k up. They are ahead in kills. All three of their carries are above our entire team, except for me. I'm loaded. Push in with Clinks. Clinks peels off, so I ditch. Oh no! Ogre kills a courier, giving up his invis. Was it worth it? I definitely don't help with the fight. I probably should have. There we go. Now I'm right in the middle of everything. Stunned forever. Finally get a hook stomp off and go down with three heroes around me. Huskar goes down. Same situation. And that was a... That was an ugly fight right there. Oh no, what happened? Where was Razor? Why is Razor full life and full mana? It didn't help with that fight at all. That's concerning. Centaur's got a Desolator. Razor's got his Hurricane Pike. Sorry, Night Stark has a Desolator. Centaur's got Blade Mail and Heart. Seems good. No Berserker's Call, unfortunately. Ogre with the Basher. Going for some additional slow on right click and some strength and boost. 
Nothing too flashy, nothing too surprising. PA, the hero to watch, uh, is tapering off a little bit. Got the Orchid to go with the slow and Yasha. I guess that's, you know, keeping up on items. Doesn't seem great though. TK is loaded, has a Basher and an Echo Saber and a Blade Mail and some Power Treads. And, uh, well, it's kind of unfortunate he doesn't know how to participate in the game because his farm is quite good. He's just hanging out by himself. We got a Huskar with Bash. Some Lifesteal, some Strength, some Move Speed, some Wards. Wards are good. No Ags, though. Don't know why he doesn't have Ags. We already looked at Centaur. We already looked at Ogre. DK. Yeah, that's everybody. All right. Dyer has a little bit of vision mid. Huskar uses all of his abilities to clean up creep camps. My whole team jungles aggressively, myself included. Looks like I am well on my way to a strength blink. Got my radiance and some traps and some boots. Are so good. Bottom, CK, and Centaur push together. I'm sure they're setting up for a big fight. Meanwhile, mid, Ogre stands around wondering why PA took all the farm, and PA takes all the farm. Huskar fights mid, under tower. Not accomplishing much. Alright. I think we're gonna have some fights here in a minute. The other team sees the da double damage rune. But Night Stalker with the Big Ack steals it. The other team knows he's there, but they can't see him. Oh man, Night Stalker has been the master of just like hitting people from far away. Not accomplishing anything with it. Hey, Night! Oof, there was a coup de gras. Nice thousand damage crit. Too bad it was on a neutral creep. All right. Here we go. The baddies smoke up. They split up. Centaur runs mid. Centaur gets caught by Night Stalker and Planks and Huskar. Centaur is super dead. Meanwhile, Razor gets caught by the rest of the team. Razor is super dead. That's a one for one trade. There's Centaur for our safe lane carry, who um, certainly was trying to farm safe lane in 31 minutes by herself. Yikes. My team shows up in the CK. With Night Soccer spotting for us, it's an easy kill. Thinking about pressuring bottom, but I don't know where PA is, and sure enough, PA is lurking right here, so I'm glad I left. Links gets beat up by Tuscar. Unto his death. Links. Sorry, that's PA. PA stacks uh, jungle camps. Your stacking is good. It looks to build Sage. Let's back that up because there are some fireworks happening bottom. Alright, Night Stalker and Husk push down the bottom tower. 
Centaur shows up. Huskar unloads everything he's got. Night Stalker does the BKB thing. Huskar hits the magic button. My god, it's a slaughter. But at some point, Doom showed up. And oh my god. That's trip kill right there, boys. I think my team's excited. Now Razor goes mid. Alone. To fight the tower. And the ogre. At the same time. Hurricane Pike seems good. Okay, jumps on. Booger comes back, jumps on. That's a doom. That's a stun. That's a disarm. It's a very dead racer. Holy cow. Meanwhile, Wings dumps all of his mana to kill a wave because he had Impetus autocast up. That's hilarious. As for heroes, please turn autocast off. When you're right clicking waves, if your name is Clanks and you have no mana regen. Lots of them show up to kill Clinks. Who sneakishly sneaks away. Who surprisingly has an AoE stun TP. Who uses Blade Fury now? Yeah. None of those things. He dies. Clinks dies alone. Top. All right. We're up 10k gold. Excuse me. I am up 10k gold on the rest of this game. And the rest of my team is still losing to like their three carries. Completely in that worth. We get some good fights going top. PA goes down. Centaur ends up going down. Heck, we even get CK. And then, to my horror, I see Razor going to feed mid again. Razor just died to this Huskar in CK mid. I'm sure Razor's not about to try to fight two people at once and die mid, right? No, he's not. I am going to show up and help. See, it's later. That's one Betty down. Can I catch the Tuscar on this build? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Well, looks like yes. Razor got that kill. Definitely earned it. PA hangs out in jungle. Looking for things to do and people to kill and stuff and whatever. And after those two big fights, all right. Look, I don't want to brag, but it really feels like I started showing up fights this game, and they really turned around. It's Thirty-two, thirty-one. We're up twenty-two k golds. At least twelve of that is me, but the rest of the team's getting rich now too. Oh man, Oscar with the Berserker's Call is doing great. And now they're all dead. We get to destroy these important buildings in their base. Now it's true, we could go stand under the T4s and try to kill them. But I figured, uh. I figured Elaine was just a little safer. They come for me. Tuscar comes for me. Ogre Magic comes for me. They decide to turn around and leave, but I blink in. Catching Tuscar, and he is destroyed. And we go back to whacking on some towers. Meanwhile, Razor is not even to base yet. I'm sure he's going to be helpful any second now. Ogre stands by and watches his racks be destroyed. Ogre 
longer stand spy and watch this bottom get destroyed. Mage is making good progress. That's Megas at 37 minutes. Centaur does the thing. Blinks misses epically. Oh man, too short at 37 minutes. Everybody who challenges us dies quickly to the massive and furious power of all of us together. I go stand by base. If I can finish my strength blink and my heart, my moon shard. Oh man, I like this build a lot. Now, my moon shard. Time to just destroy their base. Chonk, chonk, chonk. Alright, maybe it's time to fight. We get a lovely call. Followed by a very lovely... Very lovely Clink's combo, and everybody dies. Razor gets some kills finally. Good job, Razor. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. It makes a huge difference to me. It tells YouTube to show this video to more people. Uh, if you want more content, Catch me live Tuesdays and Thursday nights. If you want to see the post game analysis, which is about to happen, you should support the channel on Patreon. It's not that expensive and you get great, great benefits. You know, like more content and uh, merchandise and my undying gratitude. It's all good stuff. You totally want it. Anyways, good luck. Have fun. Don't die. And I will catch you in the next one.